Hello guys. I have a new setup today. I'm I actually like rigged um some kind of like contraption for you to be having a better vantage point so that you can see what's happening from up here. I think it'll be better. Um I don't know how I didn't think of this before, but here we are. And uh better late than never, right? Um so today I got a 20 by 20. Um I was doing some swipe pours and I, I had done this one, but it's it's really weird looking and I'm not saying it's pretty, but I, uh, I'm getting better at it, hopefully. I mean, even though the first one that I did was super cute, which was um, this little guy here. This little guy. This is the first one that I did. I did it um, uh, eight by 10, so it's really small, but super cute and i was hoping that the other ones would come out like that but i keep on putting too much paint because that's the way that i am and uh, that's what i do is use too much paint with everything so i already primed my canvas with, with my base color which is white house paint and flow troll and some water and um yeah so I'm going to do my basic uh, turquoise blue scene with just a little bit of the different variations. Now this is um, it's like a marigold color. I can't really explain it other than marigold. Um, I made it, so I can't tell you which paint. And I do my paints pretty thick consistency. I mean, I don't know if you can see it from there, but it's a pretty thick consistency. This is... Martha Stewart orange floaty multi-surface satin acrylic and this this is really good paint because it I needed barely any paint to the flow troll ratio so this is really good stuff I got it on sale so I put a little bit of red in there with this to make this a little bit of a brighter orange this is Payne's gray with a little bit of blue in it so it's like a really dark navy gray blue and this is uh, Prussian blue, which is like a, like a, it's like a, it's like a navy blue as well. So those are my two dark colors that I'm using. And this one is um, Bright Aqua um, by Liquitex, Bright Aqua Green. And I put a, a little bit of phthalo green in there and some black metallic. So it's like, I just wanted to get it darker compared to this one. So this is bright aqua green with a little bit of satin enamel in blue as you or sky blue or um seaside blue, sorry. Satin enamel. Okay. So that's that. Got her done. Now my cup is a 16, well 18 ounces to the very top. So I'm gonna pretty much fill this almost to the top. Oh, and of course, um, 24K Gold by Deco Art, which I'm not going to be using a lot of that. So a little, a little bit of white at the bottom. I always like to do a little gold right next to the white. Not much, just like probably like a teaspoon. I'm going to start off with the... I really like this Prussian blue next to the gold, so we're gonna go there. Actually, mm, let's go the bright aqua. No, you know what? Oh my God, make up your mind. I'm gonna do the Prussian blue. Sorry, just a little bit. I don't want too much. Then I'll go with the light. I'll go with the marigold. I'll go with the dark. I'll go with this bright orange. And then the darker teal. Right. 
pretty good amount of white. Not too much, but a good amount. It seems like they're all layering really nicely. A touch of gold. A little bit more. That was about, I would say, like a tablespoon. And then I'll do it the same order again. Just this time, I'm going to do it a little bit more paint. Wait, I thought I meant, yeah, I meant this light one. I hope you guys can see, because I can't see what's going on. I, I tried to do it with another camera, an older camera that I had before, and that would, it just didn't work out. My, my computer's not working well, so... I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that. So then, okay, then I did the darker, darker. Those are a little bit easier to work with. And then I did the bright orange. I hope that doesn't make mud. And the dark green. And that's it. That's all she wrote. Yeah, that's it. Look how pretty. Let's hope it comes out good. I'm gonna move all this real quick. And all of the gold. Yeah, sooner or later I'm gonna figure out my setup here of what's gonna be the best for this room okay here we go There's a lot of cells in there. This looks pretty nice, not bad. I totally forgot to put an extra puddle of white there. I literally just mixed my paint, so this is probably gonna look wonky. looks really nice. There's not enough paint there. As I sus suspected, of course. There's, oh, there's not enough paint here either. Okay. Well, that looks pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but oh, that is so pretty. I love that. I hope I'm not blocking you. Okay. Let's touch it one more time. Hmm. 
interesting how the orange looks like it wow that's really cool it looks like it kind of like wanted to like be on one side only there's a bunch of little bubbles right here don't want to burn the paint okay I think that's it I really love this here so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and dump that off first so then I can I could stretch out a little bit more eating itself. Hold on a second. Damn it. Wow. That's pretty, but so much orange is gone. So much is gone. I wanted to possibly keep as much orange as possible, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Yeah, I got a little muddy. I was afraid that that orange with the blue was going to get muddy, and it kind of did. I'm so bummed. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of, that kind of sucks. Because I really like all that's happening there with I'm going to keep this. Maybe it'll dry differently. I just love all the lines in it, though. It would be such a shame if I had to get rid of this because it's, it's really cool. Hmm. Maybe when I torch it, it'll be a little different. Let's see. Let me torch it. If not, I'll, sca I'll scrape it. Because it is really, really pretty. Let me keep that out. Nipples.
I guess with this, I'm going to bring you in and then I'll make a decision whether I'm going to put this or not. See how it got like that brown, those brown lines in there? I guess it, it's not so bad. It's actually kind of like clearing up a little bit. The center is really pretty. I love those uh, cell type things that go around the circle. And the orange is definitely there. It's just kind of like on the outsides of it. So yeah, there it is. I think I'm gonna keep it. I like these little cells that are popping up. They kind of look like little galaxies or like it looks like the stars in the galaxy. They're popping up everywhere actually. I think that's the satin enamel. I kind of like that effect. Oh well, thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a good day wherever you are. Bye.